Leadership starts with self, just as charity begins at home. You cannot lead others without first mastering the ability to lead yourself. And that's why I like to talk about self-leadership and personal effectiveness. A leader once said that leadership is about making what seems impossible possible, about changing the perception of what reality is. Reality is what we make it. It's for us to change. This is one of my favorite quotes because whether consciously or unconsciously, we are creating our realities. Self-leadership is about bringing consciousness into the creative process so that you are more likely to achieve the results that you want. Rather than being blown by the wind or being on the receiving end of life, you're more intentional and are able to live with purpose, with conviction and with direction. Leadership is a humble process. It's not about external power, it's about internal power. It's not about external strength, but internal strength. It's not about influencing others, but really about first influencing yourself, conquering yourself, your ego, so that you are authentically you. And that is what draws people in, that is what enrolls people. Our attention is often outward when it should be inward. It doesn't mean that we don't need to influence others, but that's more sustained and has a richer quality when it comes from a place of inner strength and security. A healthy dose of self-awareness is important in leadership because that helps you to get out of your own way and also to understand the impacts that you're having on your environment and on the people around you. And it makes it possible for you to make necessary changes. Self-leadership is about understanding the truth about who we are, our strengths, weaknesses, our goals, motivations, desires, so that we can really harness all that to move us in the direction of our vision and so that you become the pilot of the plane called life.